The Coral Outplanting Sighting Guide can be used to select a location for outplanting coral by filtering different spatial layers based on optimal criteria for coral survival. Currently on the map, the bathymetry layer is showing with units in meters. On the top left here under display value, I can change that to percent live coral cover, habitat complexity or rugosity, percent algal cover, or geomorphic zones. The legend for each of these layers is on the right, and I can see more by scrolling down. All of these layers have been derived from multispectral airborne imagery, except for the geomorphic zones layer, which was hand digitized from satellite imagery. And this tool is currently available in the Dominican Republic and St. Croix in the US Virgin Islands. So I'll change my map here back to bathymetry. Then I can start filtering under the filter map by value ranges field. So if I want to filter by depth, I can check the bathymetry box and these default values will appear. So currently we're seeing areas that are deeper than three meters. I can change that by just typing in a value here and hit enter and the map will automatically update. Even though bathymetry is the layer that's showing on the map, I can filter by any of these. So I can check geomorphic zones. Oops. And then I can set this to any of these zones. So I'll go with back reef. If nothing shows on the map, that means that nothing meets both of these filters. So I can change this back to fringing reef or I can change any of the, um, I can remove any of the filters by setting them to their maximum ranges. I can also remove filters by refreshing the page. So I'll also set a filter on percent live coral cover. And you can play around with any of these until you're um, happy with your ranges. So right now on the map, I'm seeing areas that are deeper than seven meters, areas that are fringing reef and have greater than 5% live coral cover. Then I can zoom in by double clicking or using the buttons here. Once I found an area that I'm interested in, I can use this polygon tool to draw a shape on the top left click that button and then just click on the map to start drawing a polygon around my area and then uh, double click on the first point to finish. Then the area of that polygon will pop up on the bottom of the map here in square kilometers. Uh, similarly, I can draw a line. So if there's a point of interest that I want to know how far this location is from that, like a coral lab, I can click on the line tool here, click a point on the map, and then click on the outplanning location, double click. And that will show the distance at the bottom here in kilometers. To switch back out of drawing mode, I just click on this hand here on the top left, and I can turn these layers off and on by this check checkbox here. I also want to know the latitude longitude of this location. So I'm going to zoom in and I have my hand tool selected. I'm going to turn the geometry off and then I'll just click a point on the map and that will give me the latitude and longitude. I can also check any of these boxes under info box fields and those um, that information at that pixel will show up in the box. The more boxes that you have checked, the longer it will take to process and query all of the layers and give you that information. Um, so here with all of them checked, I've got all my information for that location. I know the area of the, this polygon and I know the length, um, or sorry, the distance from my coral lab.